Thank you. Let's start now. My beloved friends, joy and peace be with you. May the light that guides your path shine bright. I write to you from an unnamed crossroads, days from any place of comfort, where two caravans of hardened travelers have paused to embrace joy and peace and laughter around a campfire together. Watching these strangers turn to friends, I am reminded to be mindful of my present, even as I contemplate the effects of my past and the shape of a future yet to be written. Life on Shansai, the place of my birth, was as arduous as these wildlands. Perhaps in some ways, more so. My parents fought and worked with exhaustive determination to make a place of safety for our family. But every success seemed to be built on quicksand. I cannot understand what drives people to keep so much when others suffer for so little. Who would rather speak first with blades than words? Who watch children forgo innocent pursuits to beg on the streets for want of bread and shelter. And then those same children are forced to watch as monsters and demons are conjured before their eyes and wielded like weapons against their homes, their families, their very lives. The survivors left scavenging middens created from the excess of mage clans and religious cults seeking an unobtainable level of strength what safety can be found in such a design? When I joined one of Shansai's meditative orders to seek enlightenment, contemplating the complexities and contradictions of the human spirit, I could not have prepared for the revelation I received. We've spoken of my vision many times, of the light and energy racing across sanctuary sky, a manifestation of the cosmic radiance that binds everything together, the foundation of existence itself made visible, of understanding humanity's unique place within, connected by the Zakara, the light that burns unfaltering in every one of us. One cannot experience such profundity and not be compelled to act. <sighs> Action begins within, and the rejection of the things that bring so many comfort has earned me the title of ascetic. <sighs> I think they would be surprised at how rich I am. My travels have been filled with discovery, including new truths about myself. The unknown is often frightening. But when we are connected to one another, to sanctuary, to our own inner light, I cannot help but be filled with wonder at what all there is to discover. The human spirit is complex, and understanding it, a life's work. Each of you, my kindred, have shown me the countless ways in which people can serve the light within, each with your own strengths, and when united, what is not attainable? It has been one of my purest joys to walk paths I would not have known were it not for you, to approach the unknown with respect and awe instead of fear. Sometimes when one is Sitting at a crossroads beside a fire, their feet buried in the ground and the night sky clear above, discovery feels like peace. I find myself being called home, to Nahantu, the lands of my mother's people. My parents chose to share the trials and burdens of this life together. But even so, my mother always carried a deeper sorrow, one my father could not assuage, one that unites all Umbaru refugees across sanctuary, a yearning 
for a home corrupted by hatred. For generations, we've passed down stories of a land of abundance teeming with vitality before it was beset by an insatiable, ravenous, bloodied wolf. A massive beast that leaves disease and corruption in its wake, strange monsters called the Hollows spreading along its path to taint every corner of the land. There are whispers of lost knowledge and great magics there, and suffering without end. Malevolence that can corrupt even the most robust of spirits. My mother, like so many others, lived only with the hope of change. Let this, then, mark the start of a new beginning. Even a wolf deserves to rest. Akarat.